Now look, we're making history here today, gentlemen, aren't we? This is a car that you're saying is run on water. We know that you've got to use a little bit of hydrocarbon fuel, whether it's petrol in this case, to kick start it. Then what happens? Tell me, the petrol comes into the system, where does it go first? Into the intake. Into the intake, all right. What does that mean in English? It's into the intake, into the combustion engine? Yep. Right. Where, now you've got water here. This is the water that we all know about that's going to be run on. That's the bubbler, correct? Mm. Okay, so how does... And this is the, the generator of the plasmoids. What I want to explain quickly to the audience is this, that it is run on a system of... It's like lightning where hot air meets cold air, and in this case it generates, you can call it small atomic particles, or you can call it electricity, it doesn't matter. That uh, then is fed into the bubbler. So, so if you think of a bubble, and, and the bubble collapses north to south, and it gets trapped in, in that state, and, in and then charged like the same way as a, the thunderstorm from the hot dry. Right. You were saying that the charge increases, the negative charge, how does that happen? What happens inside? Is that inside the generator here? It, it happens through the whole system. Right. Um, it's sort of like the, the static um, electricity that runs through. Okay. Um, so what happens? It gets extra charge, the plasmoids become yeah. bigger. We're talking yeah. really minute. Yeah, like the size of a hair. Yeah. 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 They start off about a tenth, a, a tenth um, a micron or something. Yeah. 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 So, okay, so then it gets... It increases the size of the platinoids, even though it's very small. So the, right, so the spark is, is positive and hits the negative charge. Yeah. Then what happens? What happens? Then, then? That, that discharges and releases all that energy. Right, so that's the discharge of the energy which runs the car. Yeah, yeah. Right. And it's, okay. it's, um, the amount of energy that can be created from it is, is yeah. massive. Yeah. So this is the exhaust, so this is what people want to know. And also, uh, we've got to explain this is a prototype, it won't look like this. There won't be cars running around looking like, you know, we're in Mad Max. So what is the result of the, dish, the exhaust gases? That's what people really will be stunned by, I think. So you've got, you've got oxygen coming out, an increase of 200% on top, right? So that brings it up to 19.5% of atmospheric oxygen, yeah. which is whatever it's about the level of oxygen in Chiang Mai or Sydney or anywhere. Which is phenomenal. That means that the car is virtually uh, a, a whole park of trees. It, it, really, it really is, yeah. And it, it, um, yeah, it so really you'd have is. nothing out of the exhaust where all the carbon causes the problem on the planet, which is exercising everyone in, in the whole world yeah. now, even more than COVID. <laughs> COVID's taken over, but carbon yeah, is number one. Thing. So out of the exhaust comes almost no, totally, almost infinitesimal carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen dioxide, nitrogen which dioxide, causes yeah. all the pollution, correct? Yeah. So we're getting oxygen instead of it. This is the breakthrough with this engine, yeah. effectively. So it's a purifying operation. It's important to understand that it is cold fusion. It's called star in a jar, the technology. It's the same principle as lightning. Yeah. 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 Hot air meets cold air, plasmoids are generated. That generates the energy for the engine and it runs. Now, the other factor is that it, on a normal tank of petrol, say you put 60 bucks in the tank, you'd probably go twice as far, or a lot more, because you're not really using that much petrol, are you? No, yeah. so you're losing 66% of your uh, energy through your exhaust. Yeah, that's a key point. You, you, you're losing all that energy through the exhaust. Yeah, that's right. That is now reversed yeah, waste completely. Is accurate, yeah. That waste is now used, yeah. essentially. Yeah. The heat, the, heat that, the pressure, the vacuum, and the shock wave is used all yeah. the energy. That's, that's all used. Yeah. That energy is used. To, to run the car. Uh, this doesn't only apply to cars, of course. Anything that has a combustion engine. Well, there's a yeah. generator. There's a the generator area. behind us now yeah. that will show. Uh, spaceships can use it. The other thing which is fascinating is that you claim the water is regenerated. The, there is a recycling of the water. It's never dissipated. Yeah. Now, before you explain that, just think of that in, in a dream situation. That means you're in a spaceship going to another galaxy. You don't need you just recycle yeah, the water. Your waste, your waste water is your fuel, and right. then your yeah, fuel yeah. becomes your, your drinking water and the clean water. And the, yeah. Yeah.
And then you've got yeah. oxygen also in the spaceship because yeah. you're, getting, you're generating that. Yeah. Basically, everything is obliterated except for the hydrogen and, and the oxygen. Right. right. Because the comet it is quite phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, so it has marketability everywhere. That's going to be a key, of course, how it's developed. Uh, but to reiterate, it won't look like this. When we no. show it on camera and moving and so forth, it'll have this on it. But when it's uh, developed properly or constructed properly. This is stage no, one prototype. This is yeah, the, just, first, just the, the first, first prototype, one. exactly. Yeah.